Ja bym nie to program za tym. taking her to a performance, so. <laughs>
Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Welcome to Urban Bush Women's 2017 culminating performance of our Summer Leadership Institute. Our, our culminating performance is the way that we share and integrate the learning that we've been in in the past eight days into performance. So on July 28th, we all gathered for the first time as a group, um, about 100 of us. We gathered and we began our process of the Summer Leadership Institute, which uh, includes Urban Bush Women's Entering, Building, and Exiting Community Workshop, where we look at the values of how we come into community, what we do, and what we lead. We um, then go into our process of People's Institute for Survival and Beyond, undoing, Understanding and Undoing Racism Workshop. And that's where we gather uh, the principles and learn about what does it mean to be an anti-racist organizer? What does it mean to look at systemic racism and how it shows up in our arts practices, how it shows up in how we organize uh, our power structures in meetings, in curriculums, um, all of the ways that we maybe don't look at that closely. And we look at that through two lens, internalized racial inferiority for black folks, people of color, internalized racial superiority for white folks. And we deeply examine how those power structures play out um, and those, those forms of internalized racial oppression play out in the work that we do. Then we go into a process called asset mapping where we gather the research that we've been uh, involved in before the Institute and the research that has surfaced while we're here. And from the assets of the group, we create the performance. I'm gonna say that again. From the asset of the group, assets of the group, we create the performance. This performance did not exist until a couple of days ago. We integrate the learning. And we start that process on about day six. I think it is where we start building performance. And it is because we've done the process of entering, building, exiting, dancing together, conditioning, yoga, that we have um, the People's Institute work, that we have a common vocabulary that we can create quickly. 95% of what, you've, what you will see has been created by the participants in these last couple of days. So I want to invite you to share the learning with us of our 2017 Summer Leadership Institute. Welcome, and Susan, give me a chance to get up to the back before you take the lights out, where I'm gonna sit with Vincent. And we're gonna be like kind of informal, because we at home. They, oh, before, at home. Let me thank NYU for the, our, our Summer Leadership Institute has been held here. And I want, this has really been amazing to be in a space with so many studios and so much access to infrastructure and restaurants in the area. So thank you, NYU, and now I'm going to my seat.
crossroads in this world of possibilities, of choice, of knowing, where three become one, where past, present, and future meet, where everyone must make a decision as a child, as an old man, as an old woman, as the trickster. We stand at the crossroads of the human and the divine. We are the messengers mediating our existence while we resolve within ourselves our heavens, our hells, our hiddens, our dreams, our heavens, our hells, our visions, our dreams. the mountain top pick a cloud go to the mountain top pick a cloud put it in a crowd down let her unwind don't you touch that tree it's got to stay a while held in purity Never been that style. Down, down. Go on and hit that road. Down, down. You better be prepared. Down, down. Hold on to your soul. Down, down. Don't you put in the fear. Down, down. Got your mama's love. Down, down. And your daddy's leg. Down, down. When you feel afraid. Down, down. Do you hear what I say? Down, down. She looked down at me. Down, down. With a crooked smile. Down, down. Head on her knee. Down, down. She said, Say a while. Down, down. Oh, he frowned at me. Down, down. He forgot how to smile. Down, down. He said, laugh with me. Down, down. We gotta stay a while. Down, down. We're going down, down. down, down. We'll break it down, down. down, down. We'll bring it down, down. down, down. We'll bring it down, down. down, down. Oh, my community down, down. could help raise a child. Down, down. My community down, down. could help raise a child. Down, down. We'll bring it down, down. down, down. We we'll break it down, 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 down. Don't let them bring you down, 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 down. Don't let them bring you down, down, down. down. We'll break it down, 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 down. Break it down, 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 down. Break it down, 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 down. Break it down, 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 down. Down, 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 down.
party people from all around the town. Get your butt up and let's get down. We more than rough, we calling your bluff. And from east to west, let's see what you're working with. Let's find out who's best. Uh, uh, uh. Come on, 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 come on. Where you at, where you at, where you at now? Uh. <laughs> hey.
That's seven. You got, you got six? No, seven. No, you seven? Mm -hmm. Girl, let me tell you a story. When I was in the second grade, I used to love going to Miss Diamond class because she always had a box of pencils, some crayons, arts and crafts stuff. She was always doing arts and crafts. Mm -hmm. And in art class, I always sat in front of this girl, Shannon Emil. What was her name? Shannon Emil. Mm. Sound like trouble. Right, let me tell you what she did. So I'm sitting in class, minding my business. I'm a good student. I'm attentive. <laughs> and I'm paying attention to the lesson at hand. And you know, she turned around and she cut one of my, like, cut it. Like, Ooh, it. Oh, no, she, no, she did. did. Yeah, she cut my hair. Girl, you don't cut a black girl's hair. And when my lock fell on the floor, I feel like a part of me kind of left with it. You know? Like a part of me was gone. But it's okay, because I was rebellious. I stopped cutting my hair, getting trims, and I grew along. Girl, got real long. Girl, it was swinging down to my butt. And I just thought I was the cutest thing. And you know, the boys started paying attention to me then, because you know your hair get long, looking pretty. <laughs> And then I cut it all off. Yeah. So you cut it? Yeah, I cut it all off. I was bald for like two years. And everybody was like, yo, you tripping. You crazy. Why would you cut your hair? And I was like, because I can. Yeah. It's my hair. Ain't that right, girl? Huh. Sunday was going to be, I'm sorry, Saturday was going to be dance class. So what she used to do is take a broom, put it right in front of us, and turn on Movimiento Sexy, right? So she used to go, ready? Here we go. Suavecita para abajo, para abajo, para abajo, para abajo. You know what I'm talking yeah, yeah, yeah. about? And then at, at my mom's house, or as my nieces call it, la casa de abuelita, we'll be cooking or cleaning in the kitchen, and that's where we always teach them how to dance. My little baby girls out there, we tell them, Mueve los pompis, mueve los pompis, mueve los pompis, mueve los pompis. From the south. Yeah. And my daddy had his own way of talking. Southern certified dialect. <laughs> so I'm gonna, I'm gonna share a few phrases with y'all, okay? It's about four day in the morning. I don't put no yeast in what I'm telling you. You'll find out directly. <laughs> This his system ain't worth a wooden nickel. So whatsoever you do, don't be no educated fool. <laughs> Cause you crack up like homebrew. <laughs> oh, y'all come on in. We got plenty of room. Cause you can always sleep on the floor and cover with the toe. <laughs> yeah.
My family is sitting right over there are Jews originally from the Ukraine. And while we've lost a lot of our heritage over the years, there's one thing that all Jews still know how to do. And that's the Hora! So the one Yiddish word that I learned in context, I learned from my grandfather. When I was very young, I was very low to the ground and he was this big rotund man and he would chase me around saying, I'm gonna give you a patch in the tuchis. Hold up, hold up, hold up. See, see, I'm from New Orleans. The seventh ward to be specific. And on Sundays, there would be a second line going down right by my house on St. Bernard Avenue. I could see it from the porch. I never knew when they were coming, but I will always hear this song. Oh, Lil Liza, Lil Liza Jane. to go back home. <laughs> Where will all the brown people go? The U.S. Virgin Islands and Hawaii. Whoop. Strategic military purchases, acquisitions, annex, D displacement of brown and indigenous people. What does patriotism look like when the state sanctions violence against you, your family, your ancestors? Change, change, change. Can't quite name the change. Losing the spirit of aloha. Oh, you know how the young people say good morning to their elders? Home, home. I just want to go home. Y'all, I don't even recognize this neighborhood no more. I remember when that house over there, that yellow house, that used to be where Mrs. Jones was lived. Yeah, oh, you remember the candy lady? Oh, she had Chico Sticks, Jolly Ranchers. And Lynn. women hair. Or oh, remember when the summers was real hot, you had the old lady on the stoop with her icy stand set up. She had the colors red, blue, yellow, green, all the colors. And none no of the flavors. flavors. Oh, man, what about no yo Miss Penny? She'd be that old lady looking through the window blind. She know everybody's business. But about ain't their business. What about Keakua? Our ancestors. Or the medicine woman, where you can go get some money, healing, and a man. And a woman. <laughs> what about me? What about us? Where will we go? Home. Home. I just, just want to go, go home. home. We can't afford to go back home. Where will all the brown people live? Living in the memories of my abuelitas, arroz con plátano, rice with bananas. The only thing I get right is the bananas, except when they're green. My rice is always mushy. Living in the memories of the colonia parties, the whole block, a party. This house is not a home. 
Where's the influx of people running, singing, dancing, smiling? That coffee shop? That's not a home. Where's my mother's wake-up call? Ya baja desayunar. Speak the colonizer's language. Twice colonized, twice removed. We can't afford to not go home. How will all the brown people live? My great-great-grandparents on my mother's side kept enslaved peoples on their estate in Maryland. I remember seeing the slave quarters. I remember my grandmother being impressed by the architecture. On my father's side, my great-grandfather, he never told a soul where my Jewish family actually immigrated from. He was protecting my whiteness. So if I wanted to, I could never follow my tracks back. There is no consequence, no risk in my white vacuum. I could literally break a window on purpose and people would be like, are you okay? We know it was an accident. This is not an accident. To tarry with whiteness, to hold or be with something much past comfort. This discomfort, this is the medicine. All right, Negroes, do I have all my Negroes here? Yes, 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 yes everyone? Great. We're just about to get started uh, for the audition, so I hope you all have your sides with you. Um, we'll bring you right in, you'll meet our team, and then we'll begin one by one. Uh, so uh, come on in, come on in. I'll, um, I'll introduce the production team here. We're super excited to be bringing James Baldwin's I Am Not Your Negro to the Great White Way. It's gonna be fantastic. Um, so I'm Harriet Chusong, I'm the lead writer, and we have our dramaturg, Ms. Vanessa Threadgill, uh, Harris Joneswood. And we also have our resident Negro specialist, Ms. Ola Benta Jackson. <laughs> but none of this would be possible without our amazing producer, director, Stephen. Stephen, would you say a few words? Hi. Thank you so much for gathering here today. Um, after I saw the James Bond movie, I, James Baldwin movie, I, I was so struck by his story that I knew I had to tell it. And we've received numerous awards, uh, residencies, we're gonna be going on an extended tour, and all of that can be yours if you'll be our Negro, thank you. <laughs> and um, I'd like our dramaturg and historian to um, just give you a little sense of what we're looking for in a Negro. Okay, what I would like you guys to do when you're preparing for the role, for your audition, is to think about what we would like in our Negro. We would like our Negro to be classic, but contemporary, we would like our Negro to have gravitas and humor. Our Negro needs to be profound yet accessible. And of course, our Negro needs to be urban and suburban. <laughs> yes, and we need you to be universal yet unique and appealing but off-putting. Okay, so you should have the James Baldwin quotes prepared. You can all go outside and we'll call you in one by one and get started. Sound good? Thank you very much.
Mr. Baldwin. Thank you for writing. I wish I would have read more of your books in high school, but my high school was white, Mr. Baldwin. Prestigious white. And later I realized that I was the token black to go with all those coins. I asked myself the same question you asked. Why? Why us? The chosen ones, the white man Cinderella, the source of free labor, the social scapegoats, the reliable guinea pigs. We're a reminder of power, a measure of progress. And that is the secret of selling the Negro. Quotes from James Baldwin. These are days where you wonder what your role is in this country and your future in it. I'm terrified by the moral apathy at the death of the heart that is happening in my country. It's a terrible thing for an entire people to surrender to the notion that one ninth of its population is beneath them. And until that moment, until the moment comes when we, the American people, are able to accept the fact that I've had to accept, for example, that my ancestors are both white and black, yes. that on this continent, we are trying to forge a new identity for which we need each other, and that I am not a ward of America, I am not the object of missionary charity. I am one of the people who built this country. Until this moment, there's scarcely any hope for the American dream because the people who are deemed participant in it by their very presence will wreck it. Trauma, trauma. I'd hate to say I was born with this trauma, this fear, this weight, this anger, or maybe it's not anger, more like sadness. This internalized racial oppression, marginalization, depression that has been passed down, this need to be comforted, to be loved on, this touch, that connection between a baby relying on, reaching for her mother's breast, I knew she'd come for me. I knew she'd nurture me. I knew my Orisha would guide me, heal me. But what am I missing? What am I missing? Sit. Sit. Sit in it. Sit. They say sit in it, but I'm tired of sitting. I have been sitting. Move, move, movement, move, movement, move, move. You know this practice, this practice of movement 
These traditional practices of movement, healing, conjuring up medicines embedded within these cells, this body, this body we've come to call you, me, we, we are the healers. It's time we take our bodies back. We're ready for our next Negro. Are you ready? Hello? Yes. Yeah. Is it you? Okay, great. So I've written my own piece. Oh, interesting. Okay, he's written his own piece. I'm black light-skinned and tall, but I am more than a mere physical representation and a specific personality trait. I'm everything and everywhere, and everything and everywhere is in me. My messy bed, my tired eyes, my quiet yet unnerving pets, my loquacious friends, my erratic siblings, my neurotic parents, the joyful relatives, the, the people that I meet along my journey, the wild sea wind, the compacting rain, the, the Do you think, oh, can I just borrow your hood? Yeah, could you put this hoodie on for me? We just want to see something. We're just trying to see something. Okay. And could you try and be a little more black? You know, give us some edge. Mm -hmm. Yes. <coughs> and maybe before you begin, also just grab your groin a little bit. Just give us like a, hmm. Not too much. Just enough. I'm black light skin and tall, but I am more than a mere physical representation and a specific personality trait. Okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Mm -hmm. Do you want this back? Okay. <laughs> one more? Yes, yeah. Next. Just one more. Is he too young? I don't know. What, what do you think? Is he too young? I'm not sure. Let's ask Steven. Is he too young for the role? I, I think we can audition him as an adult. Okay, great. People are trapped in history, 
and history is trapped in them. Thank you very much. We'll be in touch. You did a wonderful job. Thank you. Okay, I think we all need a coffee break. Yeah, yeah, that's on me. Oh.
Okay, everybody, home stretch. We've seen a lot of Negroes today. We have just a few more to go. So let's have our next Negro come on in. Are you ready? The American idea of racial progress is measured by how fast I become white. Thank you. We really, really like you. We especially like the fact that you have a very classic black female body. But your hair, it's a lot. It's a lot. Um, if you were to become our Negro, would you consider straightening your hair? Nah. What? Oh, so Excuse me? <laughs> uh. All right, next. Uh, just, no. 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 My dreams have been shook. My days have been made. I know how to look. I know how to look. I might get paid. I might get paid. I might get paid. Our dreams have been shook. Our dreams have been shook. Our Yeah. Uh -huh. 
strategically and subversively. They redefine my city lines because they like to play a game of seek and find. See, within my blocks, I am labeled a state of con, conflict, to conspire, to connect those minds. So they taking minds. That's their daily grind. It's greed. Said I need what they feed. They don't ask me for my thoughts. They just give it and say, Proceed. Gentrify my hood and then ask for no permission. They ask for forgiveness after the dirt has been issued. So I say, when they look at me with their judgmental ways, I look at them and I say, your outreach needs toilet tissue. Yeah. 
and I ain't just about it to sell it because he thinks he can do something better with it. You see, I've got a cut. I birthed my babies. I got married right here on this land. There ain't nothing. There ain't nothing better he can do. Mm, there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing, there ain't nothing better he can do.
to where they are from. So, coming up from the West Coast, we got Oregon and California. How are they? We have Texas and New Mexico. Now, I'm uh, from the Midwest, so we're going to represent the Midwest with Missouri, Illinois, and Michigan.
ଅଛି